Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 6 Let's Play where last time we began the journey of Town Hall 6 and now some awesome stuff has happened. First things first, well, first things first, the laboratory is done and so we have a few upgrades that we can do, the giants and the wall breakers and the wizards and the balloons. Balloons. They're so weak, I feel like they need an upgrade. And then of course we have the new healing spell, which segues, and that's it, right? Yeah, which segues perfectly into the other thing I tried to show earlier. Now I have the spell factory, and of course I can't upgrade it again, but I now can brew healing spells. And I'm doing it off, like I tried to start before I started filming, but I'm too excited, I've got to film. So that uh, we have one heal spell and I'm working toward some others. Uh, the other thing is the clan castle, which now I'm able to hold 20 troop capacity instead of 15 so i brought an extra balloon just for fun so to demonstrate of course so uh yeah that is the first day or you know first 24 hours of our tunnel six let's play cannot wait to get going in fact i've got max elixir so before we start doing the things i'm gonna do the obvious thing <laughs> i'm gonna before we do any raids i'm gonna do the obvious upgrade in the lab uh, we want to get this balloon going a day and a half upgrade, so no, I'm not going to be up at 4 a.m., uh, so it's basically a two-day upgrade. Uh, 450,000 elixir, let's do it now in three, two, one, bam. Nice. Okay, and then next... Hey family, sorry for the interruption for the video, but we gotta, I gotta remind you guys that I am posting content on Game On. It's a new platform developed by Amazon. It's got little short video clips, three to five minutes, and I'm posting exclusive Clash of Clans content on there that you can't find anywhere else. So if you want to watch the latest video, then you can find that linked down below in the description and the pinned comment. Or if you guys haven't downloaded the app yet, iOS or Android, then check out the links down below in the description, or you can access it on a website browser. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. Let's get back to the gameplay. Let's do the 15 minute upgrades here with this Collectors and Minds just to get those babies going. And I think that's all as far as like super short, quick upgrades. This one's no, these are three hour. Um, there's a the cheapest next cheapest upgrades a giant bomb that's six hours. So yeah, that's that's all for like 15 minute or quick short upgrades. So I could do at the beginning of the video. We'll do another series of three upgrades at the end of the video. So now let's go do our raids. And of course, I want to get my 4x star bonus. And uh, I've got loads of loot in my treasury. In fact, I should probably spend some loot. Here, let's spend a bunch of gold right here. Half a million gold to get all the new walls to level five, which I think will make them even with the existing walls. So, hey, it's going to be nice and symmetrical. Three, two, one. Bam. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, so everything's nice and... Nice and uh, I've always considered it like sandstone, right? It looks like the Egyptian pyramids. They pulled the, the stones out of it and built some walls. That's what it looks like. And the next level, will they'll, they're, they're turning pink. They're getting too hot in the sun. They're crystallizing. And here we go. We have these pink walls. So that is something that we'll have to deal with here shortly. Um, that's about it. Uh, let's go ahead. I mean, yeah, let's go ahead and do another raid. I doubt I'm going to find a base worth 400,000 gold or something like or elixir that I want to take on. So let's take this baby out, uh, whatever we can find. Here is, ooh, no. Actually, remember, okay, so we have the power potion effect. So now that the laboratory is done, I have boosted maximum troops. So this is actually going to be a lot easier. However, I would rather not attack a Town Hall 6 that's maxed out. I just wouldn't. I just don't want to, I don't feel like it. <laughs> Especially because I haven't unlocked the healers, which is the whole point. It's the whole, the best thing about Town Hall 6. So I'm going to wait just a moment. I do need to make a concerted effort, though, to unlock those healers as soon as possible. But I also need to get my army camps maxed out as soon as possible. But wait, now I also really need to get a... What am I thinking? The uh, the new defenses, right? I got like four new defenses I need to get as soon as possible. So I'm going to get so much stuff I need to do. Oh, this is great. So Tunnel 6 is... It's getting uh, more complicated, and I like it. I like the the complexity, and I like how with Clash of Clans you you kind of you kind of build up in the complexity. You go from like super simple to uh, slowly getting worse, if you will. But here we go. Okay, so I found a base I want to take on. I believe it's a Tunnel Five, unless I just have a really bad time figuring these out. Let's see if there's CC. Looks like there is no CC, so that's perfect. Um, and I want to go obviously same thing, always against the air defenses first. So Giants. Get in there. They're upgraded uh, giants, so they're pretty strong. The archers and the um, barbarians are not upgraded, so it's not really any different. The wall breakers are, though, and so are my balloons. So I'm excited to see. And the giants, too. So I'm excited to see if there's any kind of 
um, strength increase, especially, like I said, in these balloons that we just started the upgrade for. So air defense goes down. Let's get these balloons in. Now they look a little better, right? They got the, the wooden shield around the balloon like that. Looks really nice. Um, we've already gotten rid of all of the air, air targeting defenses except for the Archer Tower over here. So we're guaranteed a three-star at this point. I don't even need to use my heal spell, so I'm going to hold on to them because I don't have that many. Plus, spells are expensive in Elixir. I don't feel like spending Elixir unless I actually have to. But here's going to be the three-star. They are way, way stronger now. Look at that. Boom. All the way through. Of course, they had some backup from the, the ground troops, but still pretty awesome. And I think, yeah, there's two corner building so hopefully we get a, a, a little bit of a split here we may not because of the way this is looking but i think we're still going to get the three star so it'll work out um big fan of the upgraded troops uh definitely the balloons are the to me the biggest change the giants are also significantly stronger too so you can see the giants when they get onto something they actually start to do more damage uh as opposed to the max town of five levels those were not very good tunnel six level things start to get a little bit more interesting so i'm excited about that i'm happy about that and and pleased. That's a good way to put it. Pleased. So, ooh, hit a bomb. My bad. I, I, I want my archers to survive here. I, I need them to go for the corner buildings here. Um, ooh, yeah. Archers, go down. Go down. Perfect. Look at these brilliant little archers. Look at that. So we got a few going down. Pretty much everybody else going up. So I'm pretty sure the three star is going to be seen happen right here. That is amazing. Watch, watch the number. 95. They're, yep, there we go. 98. They took it out. Now they're going to come down. They're coming down, right? Yep, they're coming down. But these archers got it done. There is the three star. Nice. And that's really what matters. The three star because they've got the 4x star bonus coming out. So there you go. 23 trophies as well. That's always a good thing. And um, I see no reason why I can't go ahead and do another one. All right, let's go. 4x star bonus is probably going to max out. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. A way to be more efficient with my loot because remember it's it's 720,000 right yes look at my treasury I definitely cannot hold that much in either gold or elixir so I'm going to go ahead and collect all that I can and we're going to spend some right now now the best way to or the best uh place to spend gold right now would be in the new defenses but I'm not going to get them yet <laughs> I know <laughs> it's crazy but I'm not going to get them yet what I am going to get however is the well I think I might get the new air sweeper. It's an eight hour upgrade. It's a pretty long upgrade. And the sweeper is actually very, very useful. So I'm going to go and grab the air sweeper. That'll be my way of spending some gold. Okay. Uh, three, two, one. Bam. There we go. And then I'm also going to spend some elixir. Now, again, I've been talking about getting the healer, getting the healer, getting the healer. But honestly, I mean, if you compare the two upgrades between like a barracks, which is 700,000, it's a 16 hour. And then the army camp, which is a 750,000 and a 12 hour upgrade. There's really no major difference between the two. And within a day or two, I can have all of them done if I really focus. So I'm going to do the army camps because more troops is best. Um, so let's do this. 750,000 elixir, 12 hour upgrade, making some room. Three, two, one. Bam. Wait, all my builders are busy. Dang it. <laughs> all right, I'm going to do what's best for my base. I'm going to wait. I accidentally, I mean, I didn't accidentally, but I started these two upgrades. Forgot they were going. Had no builders left. So, yeah, I'll be right back in eight minutes. <laughs> and we're going to do an upgrade and do another raid, okay? <laughs> How did I forget that? All right, instead of waiting, all right, instead of waiting until uh, everything is done over on the other base, I forgot about Builder Base. So I'm actually going to do a few attacks in this video. You guys okay with that? Um, I've, I have I need to just get some loot. I've got, um, I've finished the Baby Dragons, so I'm done until I upgraded Builder Hall number five, um, and that'll be happening here in about two and a half hours. Yeah, uh, just moving right along. Um, Baby Dragon's being maxed out. I kind of want to experiment with them. Now, I can't hold a lot of loot, to be honest. I could probably do... I can win one time, and I'll, I'll max out my gold. And I need max gold to upgrade the Builder Hall. So if I win one raid, then I'm done. But I I, I assume that the even max level Baby Dragons aren't going to be good enough. So let's just try it. Let's give it a try, okay? Um, again, this is my favorite way to play Builder Base. And I've been experimenting with different levels, and none of them have been good enough. So let's see, baby dragon on either corner. Uh, I'm gonna put one over here and maybe put one over here. Okay, I've only got four, so I gotta be very careful about where I place these babies. Um, Archer tower geared up is a crazy damager, uh, damage output, so we gotta be careful there. Um, air bombs or whatever are gonna go down quickly. It's not very upgraded, so that that's nice. 
And so, yeah, so the rest of the, ah, uh, yeah, I'm already out of uh, baby dragon, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one down here. This actually was not terrible, but they just don't last. They just don't last like I'm used to. I've got a, uh, a max baby dragon, max builder hall. Not, not max, like everything is not max, but like a lot of things are maxed on my main account. And the baby dragons last a lot longer, so uh, I'm not a fan. So I definitely want to upgrade to Builder Hall 5. I definitely want to max out the baby dragons immediately and see how that goes. But I was not a fan of how that turned out. See, wow, 96%? That's why I need... <laughs> yeah, baby dragons are not the way to go at Builder Hall 4. Officially, okay? It is, it is official. Um... Yeah, so I'm gonna do my old strategy. I like using the archers. I mean, this that guy just got 90% with just barbarians. So that's something to think about. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna bring more barbarians here because I, it's a very open concept base. So I should be able to do pretty well. I'm gonna send one barbarian. There's a lot of, I knew that was gonna happen. Lots and lots of things out there, bro. Lots of things. Let's put three archers there for the for the Tesla. Let's also send in some barbarians to do some uh, some cleanup out there. Let's send a few. Uh oh, no! Multi mortar. Killing my stuff. Stop that. Okay, one, two, three. Get rid of that cannon. Um, one, two, three. Get rid of that town hall. And then what else can I do while I'm out here? Uh, a few a few barbarians. Get them maybe in here and in here. And I've still got two archers left. So I, I know I'm not going to three star this, but this is, this is, um, I don't know. To me, at this level, this is probably the most powerful strategy that there is. Like throwing in there some. Some barbarians and some archers, and accumulate as best as possible. And and, and it's never a good idea to put a, a, a spawn hole next to your builder hall. I mean, I realize you can put all your traps there, but I used one barbarian, one raged barbarian, and all those traps were gone. So definitely not a sound strategy. All right, so 60%. Let's see how this guy does. He's probably going to beat me. Looks like he's doing... Oh, wow. Still got lots of troops, too. I hate this. Oh, is he, is he lagging? It might be that he's lagging. And if that's the case, it'll... It'll time out, right? Oh, look, the, even the clock is, is lagged out. Two uh, two minutes and five seconds. I almost said two hours and, two, and five minutes. <laughs> two minutes and five seconds left, and it's completely lagged out. That's crazy. And it's not me, obviously. You know, time left, one minute, 25 seconds, but it's saying uh, two minutes and five seconds. Yeah, I think this guy probably disconnected or something. That's unfortunate. I think we won, though. Yeah, see, it's still counting down. Okay, well, that's cool. So I'm probably about to, to win that. I'm going to max out and uh, or max out my gold. And then I'm just going to wait for two hours, upgrade my builder hall, and then do the rest of the attack. There it is. See, I won. 14%. That's really unfortunate for him, but I'll take it. <laughs> cool. So I've got my gold. I'm going to be upgrading the builder hall today, but I'm not going to, you know... I'm not going to wait around to film that, but uh, it's it's awesome. Yeah, it's exciting. So how am I doing on this side? Yeah, one minute and a half. Uh, man, I don't want to wait a minute and a half. Is it? Oh, it's one gem. You know what? I've never spent any gems on this except for on builders. I'm just going to spend two gems and save a minute and a half. How about that? I mean, I get like five to eight every day anyway from removing trees and stuff. So still net positive for the day, right? It's for the video. It's for you guys. For the, for the video, like and subscribe, right? Don't forget to subscribe. Use code Klaus. Um, all the things, right? <laughs> oh, ring the bell. I mean, you know, all the YouTube stuff. All right, so let's do another raid. This time I'm trying to take on something a little stronger. And maybe even use my CC, who knows? And loot really isn't the issue because... Oh, wait a minute. No, I don't want to do a raid right now. No, I want to do the upgrades. Yeah, okay, okay. My bad. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting confused. Uh, 750,000 elixir, 12 hour upgrade, army camp from earlier today, earlier in this video. Three, two, one, bam. Now I can go do the raid. See, I wanted to make some room in my treasury. I predicted this will work out fine. And uh And yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that even mean? And yeah. It means I don't know what to say next about that, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyway, so let's, um, ooh, that's actually a lot of loot in that spot. Let's take this base on. Not super strong, uh, but that's okay. That's that's fine. Let's see. Is there a CC? No CC. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, so let's do, this could be super simple decision making here. All the, like the wizard towers and the air defenses and everything are on this side. Drop the wall breakers, drop the wizards, and then as soon as the air defenses go down, I can actually come in and bombard these archers on this other side with my balloons. 
Yeah, it's looking really good. All right, so uh, right there, boom, 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 boom. Get those balloons in there. There goes the, the one arch tower. The one on the bottom's a little higher level, so I'm a little worried about it, but I think we're going to. There we go. We got it. Nice, and there's no corner buildings too, so this is going to be an easy three-star. Don't even need the spells again. I mean, the spells will come in handy. Here's, here's one they're going to come in handy the most, I think. Whenever there's a, a split between the air defense and the mortar, and I take out the air defense early with the ground troops, and then I got to heal the barbarians or the archers or the giants or whatever while they're getting hit by the mortar on the other side of the base. So, so both of those bases, if I remember right, that wasn't necessary. It didn't apply. So uh, the heal spell is nice, but not essential for every single raid and apparently not essential for a three star on a tunnel five. Uh, 130,000 gold, 98,000 elixir, over 100,000 if you had that loot bonus and 13 good old trophies. Very nice. All right, guys, so there's my loot bonus. You gotta love that. My next one's in 22 hours, so I'm on top of that. And now, guys, as you can see, my treasury is practically full. I'm able to do another major upgrade. I'm thinking I might jump in and do another army camp. I mean, getting it done really, really quickly sounds like a great idea. In fact, I'm kind of regretting doing the air sweeper. I could have done all three army camps in one video. But I can't. I mean, I could cancel it, I guess. No, I can't cancel it. I can I can gem it, but I can't cancel it. I can cancel these. But if it's a new building, apparently you don't have that option. So that's okay, though. All right, so let's do the other army camp. I don't quite have enough elixir, so let me go ahead and collect the treasury once again. That gives me room for the next star bonus. Uh, so that means I'm going to be spending 750,000 more elixir on the second of third army camps. But first, I want to spend the gold. So let me just crystallize our internal wall line you guys ready three two one bam and i'll just do the entire circle why not why the heck not a eh? four hundred thousand so it was uh, 1.2 minus 400 so eight hundred thousand gold just to crystallize that inner circle but now it's stronger so that's cool so now that I've spent the gold, I don't want to spend all of it, just a lot, uh, just a decent amount of it. Let's upgrade this other army camp. So next episode, guys, I'll have uh, nearly max army. So I'll be two out of three army camps done, four out of 145 troops out of 150, and I'll have that new air sweeper. So um, that's 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 awesome. So 750,000 elixir, 12 hour upgrade, and once again, three, two, one, bam. Nice. All right, guys. And again, I don't have my base design built because I haven't got my new defenses, but higher priorities are in play here. Okay. <laughs> the, uh, uh, the new, uh, defenses can wait in comparison to getting the army camps and the barracks upgraded, which will be the next episode. I'll definitely be upgrading, uh, some barracks. We'll be unlocking some healers for episode four of our tunnel six let's play. But for now, that's going to do it for me today in this episode of our Tunnel 6 Let's Play. Thank you all so much for tuning in as we move right along. I have the heal spells. Didn't even need them today. That works out nicely. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. Don't forget to ring that bell for notifications. And don't forget to use code Klaus if you guys decided to buy something in the game. But remember that the code does expire. So always double check in your shop. Look for the little white C. If it's there, then you're good. If it is not, then you need to input the code using the link that I've provided for you guys down below in the description. Or, very important, you can even do it manually in the settings. Just do it manually going through from the settings, more settings, scroll down, hit enter code Klaus. And remember, it works in every single Super Soul game, not just Clash of Clans. Guys, that's all for me. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.